Fascia and Thai Massage. Fascia is kind of this mysterious word for a lot of people. You might have heard it spoken here or there. And I want to give you a very quick analogy and a quick summary for what it is and why it's important for you to know it. You know, the fascia is kind of equivalent to the way an orange is designed. It's the casing that is around all of our muscles and all of our connective, it is our connective tissues that it wraps around all of our muscles, all of our bones, and everything else. So, in essence, if you think of an orange, you have the outer orange peel, and then if you take that off, you have all the wedges, and each wedge has its own, you know, thin membrane. And if I were to further take that off, then you have all the little nodules, but the juice doesn't start to spill out. You, you have that kind of thin, transparent membrane, and if you take that out, then finally you get to the juice. And in our body, it's fairly similar in that there's a casing that wraps around, you know, if we just think of, let's say, this part of our arm, that will wrap around all the muscles here, and then each individual muscle strand and each individual fiber has its own casing, and going really into very, very minute, deeper kind of fascia around everything. So that when our body sends a signal, let's say, to bend my arm, actually that signal goes into the, the fascia which then tells the bigger muscles to, to do the action. And, you know, it's so prevalent that if you took away every other part of your body except for the fascia, you would actually be left with an entire, totally uh, intricate 3D model of the body. So it is everywhere in the body, and, and it's how we also protect ourselves. So if our body, if we get injured in some kind of way, let's say we sprain our ankle, you know, you have to imagine that you start walking a little differently. So all the fascia, all that, it's like a chain reaction and things will shift in different kinds of ways to make sure that, um, you know, in fact, you know, the body's going to think of the most important things, you know, like I need to be able to continue to walk again while this is happening and then afterwards. So it's going to compensate maybe with some slight shifts in that casing, in that fascia, to help make sure that the bigger picture is maintained. And in the, you know, the fact is, it doesn't put itself back once you're all back to normal. If you don't do things to release some of that fascia, to kind of retrain it, then that compensation stays. And Again, because the body's more concerned with the bigger picture, you know, a little ache or pain that maybe ends up somewhere else in your shoulder or in your back because of that shift, you know, it can deal with it. In fact, it can have another compensation and then another one. And the fascia just keeps kind of moving around as it needs to help make us more comfortable. But eventually it can kind of run out of those places to find. And that's when we start to have those bigger issues and bigger pains. So to massage fascia is therefore such an important, important aspect towards really getting to the root issues of what's going on in our body or in our clients' bodies when they come to us with all kinds of aches and pains and tensions in their body. And to find the right ways to massage the fascia, it's like a chain reaction that once one thing works better in one place, it's like everything starts to, again, go, you know, in a way kind of backwards into the original healthy state that, it, that, we, that we all start with. So how do we find the fascia? You know, the fascia, like I said, it goes everywhere, but people who massage fascia, you know, if, because it is that chain reaction, you just need to find the fascia that is right below the skin surface. So if you feel your forearm, you can just feel your skin. You have literally the skin at the surface level, and then maybe at the lower levels, it's called the subcutaneous level. And if you push below that, even deeper, a lot deeper, you'll feel your muscles. So it's basically in between the subcutaneous or your skin level and the muscles, you can feel, you know, your ability to move all kinds of things around here that kind of gets your whole forearm moving just below the skin level. If you can find that, that is fascia. And if you can sweep it or move it in, in the direction that helps to lengthen in those areas, then you're helping to release fascia and you're helping to restore that natural healthy movement to the body. So for anyone who wants to know more, we are doing a course called Fascia and Thai Massage. And I know for me personally, I spent years trying to delve deep to understand how fascia moves in the body. And when I give a Thai Massage, you know, and I feel like giving an expert Thai Massage is all about uh, you know, that's 
bringing in the fascial movements and fascial kind of stretches to the body so that we're not only finding aches and pains and, and getting those added, we're not just stretching deeper muscles when we put people into stretches, but completing the whole experience of an expert level massage is also to do things to the fascia. And you get to be like a bit of a, like a detective, kind of sensing fascia, feeling fascia, and helping to release that while you do all the other things in the massage. We are doing a course, and we teach this regularly about fascia and Thai massage. And I honestly feel like anyone who is interested in practicing and giving Thai massage at a professional level should know how to massage the fascia and should know how to put those two things or all of those things together to deepen your ability to help your clients. So from here, I encourage you to go take a look at the dates and you know, if you're watching this right now, we have this class coming up at the start of May. I believe it's May 2nd to 3rd. And Emily Delia, she is the person who teaches this class for us. She is a fascial stretch therapist, a level three fascial stretch therapist, which means that she's been understanding and studying and treating people through fascia for over a decade. She studied with Tom Myers, who's essentially the, the guru for understanding and mapping the, all the fascia in the body and she's also studied Thai massage with me so she's one of the few that really can put all that together and explain how to combine using fascia and Thai massage all together for the most amazing benefits. The class also includes teaching you stretches that you can give your clients afterwards because like I said a big part is kind of retraining the body in the session but then giving your clients things that they can continue to do afterwards to help really build up all the benefits. It's an amazing class and I just encourage you to head over to the website to check it all out, see when we're teaching it, and make that an incredible part of your training. Thank you so much, and have amazing massages. Namaste.